Reserve. All right, guys. So today actually includes a paid promotion. Um, Land Moto sent me this in the mail. They reached out to me and asked if I would promote it. So I said yes because I actually believe in the product. And uh, they sent me it through Amazon. You can buy them for four ninety nine. Um, the price is reasonable considering what it does. I'll tell you that in a second here. Um, so it comes in this box. Let's open this up real quick. So as you can see, um, it's a night vision system. This goes on your car. You can mount it to the the dashboard or the the um, the window in your car. And um, I'll talk more about it when we open it up. But it's 1080p high resolution, full color image, and it helps you drive safe at night. So in snow, in dark lighting, um, in fogginess, it'll help you see in front of you a lot better. And I'm gonna be demonstrating this in my own car, but let's take that out of the package here quick. Let's see what we got going on. All right, so it comes in this box that'll kind of open up. All right. Phone protecting on the top. Nice tape, nice uh, manual for it. This looks like one of the mounts for the car. We've got some wiring, and we've got the device right here. Let's see if I can get this out. Ooh, that's nice. So, it's pretty big. Looks about to be about 10 inches long. And then, probably like three and a half inches wide. Comes with a safety peel sticker. So that peels off like that. And it comes with a power button and a bunch of different buttons on the top. And as you can see, it has the Lam Moto Night Vision 1080p camera on the back. So that's what's going to be giving you the, the view. Um, then we reach in this box. And what do we got in here? So we've got we've got a second mount, which that looks like it's for the window. So you just peel off the sticker, and then you can stick it right to the window. And this mounts to here on the back. What you do is you take out this screw right here. And then you mount it right here like that. You just screw that in. And then you've got that. And you can mount that to the window or anything. That's pretty cool. Not too bad. And to unattach it, screw it right off. All right, next piece in the mix. We've got this piece, which according to the manual, is the OBD adapter. So you're gonna have the OBD adapter in there. You're going to have the um, cigarette lighter, which I'll show you how this works and plugs in. And then this is the second mounting system. You mount it the same way as the first, and then you use this, this sticky platform and that goes in there, so you can mount it to the dashboard of your car. So that's basically all that's in there. And um, then you're going to take the device right here. You're going to plug in this one right here. These don't come attached, I don't think. So you're going to plug in this one to it first, and then you're going to plug in this cigarette lighter into this one, like that. And then this one is for the rear camera, camera, which it has capabilities, but I did not order the one with the rear camera, or they didn't send it to me. So um, 
you can buy a rear camera separately and then you ha you'll have capability for rear camera. This is just a plug-in for that. So I think we should go test her out and see what it's uh, what it's all about. Alright guys, let's head out to the truck and install this bad boy. It's like negative six degrees right now. It is freezing cold. Uh, I got the Polaris all over here. Um, I was looking for a switch on the Polaris because I was hoping this thing would plug right into a Polaris too. My other one, my newer four-wheeler, actually had a switch where it would it would uh, plug right in to the cigarette lighter, but this one does not look like it has it. Uh, does the snowmobile have it? it? Doesn't look like it. I think I'm out of luck then. If the snowmobile doesn't have it and that four-wheeler doesn't have it, I know my Quadzilla doesn't have it. So I think we're out of luck. Too bad I didn't have my other one. That one would have worked. But maybe I'll pick up another one and we can test it out. It's a super cool system. Um, and I'm hoping I can find a good place to mount it in my truck here. As you can see it's snowing out quite a bit. Or it snowed quite a bit yesterday and the day before. Oh, let's see here. I already have a GPS in here. So we got all the parts for it right here. This, I don't know which mountain, mountain system I'm gonna use yet, but I think we should set up the car because it's so cold out. Ooh, barely started. Let's get this cooking for a while. Um, I just picked up another four wheeler yesterday. That'll be next video, I'll talk about that, but stay tuned for that, it's a hog. It is such a big four-wheeler, and maybe it has a spot for this thing too, so hopefully it does. But we'll find a place for it. I think I'm gonna put it right on this dashboard right here, um, with this mount. So this will mount right here. I think that'll be perfect for it. All right, so I got it set up here. Um, this little mounting plate works pretty well. I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to stick or not, but I figured out that it just sits like that, and that's a pretty good angle. And uh, yeah, so let's test it out. I didn't peel the plastic away from the, the screen yet because I want to protect it. But uh, to uh, start it up, you just push a little button on the cigarette lighter, and you'll see the, tur the screen turn on when you push the, the home button, and you'll get a nice picture of the ice shack, and it is going to show that in real footage. So let's see here, put the car in reverse and you'll see the screen adjust to the, um, the settings. So it's pretty much, it's virtually a camera, but um, it gives you night vision capabilities, which is super, super cool. That's a super cool little feature. It's really nice for a back camera too. So if you guys get the back camera, it's, it's a super cool feature. Um, and you even get the night vision for the back camera. So that's pretty dang nice. I like that mounting system. It uh, seems to work pretty well. And my GPS will fit in there too. So we're gonna wait until night and test this guy out. It should be pretty good at night, I would think. And um, we'll do a little review. I thought this was a super, super good idea to promote because an accident, a pileup of 150 cars, I think, um, on Highway 41 over near kind of Oshkosh area, um, happened and cars could not stop because they couldn't see in front of them. It was snowing and foggy and cars could not see. I'll leave a video clip of it right here. And as you can see, um, the person did not have enough time to react. But with this, it sees 300 yards in front of you so, or 300 meters in front of you, and it could have been prevented if everyone would have had this night vision system. Um, it's kind of sad because my brother's substitute teacher actually died in the accident, and he was the only one that died, but there was millions, or hundreds of thousands worth of damage to cars, and it was just bad. And plus it was super cold out, so people are stuck in their cars with crashing kids, in the back of the seats and everything it could have been prevented from this system right here. All right guys, time to test out the night vision. Uh, Chuck is joining me for the ride. So he's in here already. You wanna record? 
All right, so we're, first we're going to um, put this on low. Okay, let's move this back in here. So we already tested it out, but I forgot my chip for the camera. So as you can see, here's the screen right here. Does it show up in the camera or no? Kind of. Uh... That is the screen. That is not the. And then show them the picture outside to compare. So I mean, the lights it's... are on right now, but. All right, let's back her out. <clears throat> We're going to first do it without the, or with the lights, and then without the lights. So you guys can see the comparison. I haven't been in a video in ten years. Charlie is back for a video. We'll wait for this car to come, I think. Yeah. We'll quick do a test without the lights. So that's with the lights on. And then watch this. I'm gonna turn off my lights from my car right now. And it, it just shows like it's like light out. So that's that's outside. And that's the screen. It's pretty crazy. Outside. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, it's pretty good night vision. Yeah, that is really pretty clear for. And the picture is actually pretty good. It's not bad, considering it's pitch black. Yeah, that's pretty minty. All right, so I'll turn the lights back on. Look at look at my dash right now. You can see the lights are completely off. Yeah. Okay. So now turn the lights back on. As you can see, the quality and the lights go up. Or and the screen goes up. Now we're going to back it out of the driveway and go down the road. Um, we're not going to go blind because there's a car. Oh, he turned in. Now we can go blind. So we've got the lights on right now and show them the road. The lights are on right there and then turn off the lights. And show them the screen. Okay. So that's what it looks like. And now turn off the lights. Now lights off. That's outside. Look at the screen once. That's the screen. It looks like it's light out. That's outside. So I could, if I wanted to, just follow this whole way. Yeah. Without lights. That's Pretty outside. Crazy. Yeah, that's minty. So now with the lights on again. Look at how good the view is. Yeah. So we're gonna be testing this out in snow and rain. Um, I'm gonna hook it up to a quad later on and take it down a trail and just see if I can do it at night without any any lights on the quad at all. Yeah. Super cool. These are four ninety nine. Amazon link will be down below. Um, and explain what they're useful for. I already did. Oh, you did. Yeah. So in Oshkosh, there's a hundred fifty car pile up, and it was due to it being foggy and snowy. Yeah. And um, people couldn't see like ten feet in front of them. And I think this thing would definitely hinder that and uh, prevent it from happening. Definitely. Let's turn off the lights one more time here. We're coming up up to a stop sign, so we should be able to see like a stop sign coming up. I am driving blind right now. I cannot see anything at all, but I have that, and I can kind of see. So if you take a slow, like this is without zero lights, guys. Yeah, like Obviously that's outside. You're have lights on, and it will not be snowy, so you'll, you'll be able to see the the lines on the road. Yeah. But, so you can see the stop sign right there. Look, can you see a stop sign in the dark? Yeah. <laughs> no, you cannot. So I know that I have to stop right here. And now I'm going to put my lights back on just in case something's coming. But now the lights are back on. And now we're going to go back down the road completely without lights and see if we can do it. We could save some lives. One person died. I actually knew him. Yeah, I told him that. Your substitute teacher. Yeah. Nice That's guy. That's pretty bad. And uh, the it's price only... tag might be a little bit high on this, but when you think about it, it's really not. You'd rather die or? Would you rather die or huh. would you rather have this? It's nice to have. Yeah. If you're trying to like sneak in and, you don't want your mom and to know. another thing. Yeah, what is it, Chuck? When you're trying it? to sneak in and your mom told you you were supposed to be home at 11, but it's it's 2.30. And, and you don't want to wake her up with the car. Yeah, and she waits for lights to pull in. No lights. So we're just driving blind right now. Minty. Um, it's a pretty good picture considering it's completely dark out. Yeah. That's what we're driving. Now show them the road again. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, that 
is pretty cool. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, so it makes your truck look pretty cool too, because people are like, what's that? Like yeah, my dad did. He like, was like, you look like a um, spy or something. Yeah, and then the camera will show you the back of it. It looks pretty cool. Looks like a cop car, kind of. I think they have the same thing. They probably have something like that. So I'm driving completely blind right now. It's really dark. Yeah, this, we're in trees right now and it's like completely pitch black. But minty in the screen. Minty on the screen. And then it comes with a back camera, but that was not included with mine. So you have to buy it separately. But there is a package that you can buy with it. So it's kind of cool. What do you think, Chuck? Yeah, I think, okay. it's, I think it's pretty cool. Pretty minty, I would say. Yeah, not bad. Now we can put the lights back on and watch the quality on the screen go back up. It looks ex like that is really clear. Yeah. But it it doesn't it makes it darker on the screen when the lights are on. Like look at the sides, it makes it darker. Now now we will pull into the driveway. So that's what that is. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. The link will be in the, the description to go buy this thing? If you do, um, I don't know what happens, <laughs> to be honest. But it's... I mean, if you guys want to tell your parents about it, it's a good um, safety thing yeah. for your car. Um, it will make you feel more protected. Like, if your parents are like, oh, you need to be home at this time, be like, well, I've got my little uh, night vision, so I can be home later. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time. We are out.